In this video, you will learn how to set up the system as how to work in between cases and shut down the system. The CVI system requires the following steps. Supplying power to the system, installing the consumable kits, and removing air from all system components, the patient catheter, and how to shut down the system. To load the syringe assembly, follow these steps. Step 1. Turn on the power supply. After the system power is switched on, the control panel on the CVI system will provide guidance during the setup procedure by displaying on-screen prompts. An aseptic technique must be followed when performing setup. Step 2. Press Start on the control panel. Select Cardiac Procedure Mode. Once the procedure type is selected, the CVI system will perform a routine in order to calibrate. Step 3. Following the instructions on the screen, pull the white syringe door pin to open the syringe chamber. Prepare the contrast bottle. Use a pre-packaged 70% IPA wipe to wipe contrast septum. Allow the septum to dry. Open the syringe kit and remove all the end caps one at a time. Place the syringe into the chamber and close the chamber. Make sure the syringe door pin locks into place. Press done. The plunger will move to the fill syringe position. To load the contrast, follow these steps. Step 1. Open the automated manifold kit and remove all end caps right before they get connected. Connect the manifold to the syringe assembly, taking care to use aseptic technique of all fluid ports and any item that will go into the sterile field. Tighten by turning the syringe side of the lure connection. Step 2. Snap the manifold assembly into the manifold clip and sensor. An audible click will occur when the connection is secure. Step 3. Hold and spike the contrast bottle at a downward angle to avoid spinning contrast. Step 4. Place the contrast onto the hanger. Squeeze clamp to adjust the contrast hanger height to accommodate the contrast bottle. Step 5. Place the tubing in the contrast sensor and close the contrast sensor latch. An audible click will occur when the connection is secure. Keep the white slide clamp above the contrast sensor. Important! Make sure the contrast spike tubing is secure in the contrast sensor and that the latch on the contrast sensor is fully closed. If the contrast spike tubing is not properly secured in the contrast sensor, the system may give an error message. Step 6. Ensure that the air vent is open on the contrast spike. Step 7. Before beginning the case, verify that the slide clamp is in the open position and above the contrast sensor. For the single-use syringe A1000-A1000V, the slide clamp is not present as the syringe will be replaced between each procedure. Press done to fill the syringe. To load the saline tubing assembly, follow these steps. Step 1. Remove the protective cover from the pressure transducer cartridge and insert by sliding it into the pressure transducer backplate until it clicks into place. Step 2. 
spike and hang the saline bag. Step 3. Attach the hand syringe to the manifold and slowly draw the saline through the saline tubing. Important. To remove air, attach the hand syringe to the manifold and slowly draw saline through the saline tubing. Repeat until air is removed from the saline tubing and transducer. Step 4. Open the saline pump by using the black lever and place the saline tubing inside. Next, center the tubing in the pump so that equal amounts of tubing remain on either side of the pump. Close the pump latch. Adjust the rear guide downward until it rests against the tubing. Press Done. To purge and flush the tubing, follow these steps. Step 1. Purge the air from the manifold tubing into the hand syringe by pressing the purge button for 1-2 to two seconds. Repeat if necessary. Empty the syringe before performing a purge. Press Done. Step 2. Press flush to remove the air out of the fluid pathway. Repeat until all air is removed. Empty the syringe before performing a flush. Press Done. Important. Inspect the system to ensure all air is removed from the saline spike, saline tubing, transducer cartridge and manifold assembly before proceeding with the setup. Press Done. Step 1. Detach the hand syringe from the manifold and replace it with the patient tubing. Ensure there are no sharp ends or kinks in the tubing. Step 2. First place the patient tubing in the air column detector and second in the strain relief. Fully close both latches. An audible click will occur when the air column detect latch is securely closed. Step 3. Attach the stopcock to the distal end of the patient tubing. Step 4. Attach the hand controller lure connections to the control panel. Tightly secure both of the lure connections. Press Done. Step 5. When starting hand controller calibration appears on the control panel, press the OK button. Completely depress the contrast button on the hand controller within 4 seconds of pressing the OK button. Important. The hand controller calibration will fail if the contrast button is not depressed within 4 seconds after pressing OK, is not depressed far enough to register a value of at least 10 in the system, is pressed before pressing OK on the screen. Pressing the purge button for 1-2 to two seconds to remove air through the air column detect sensor, press flush to automatically and completely flush the patient tubing and the stopcock including the side ports with saline. Check that all air has been removed. Repeat if necessary until all air is removed. Follow these steps to perform an injection. Step 1. Arm the injector. In select mode, press Inject. Step 2. Press OK to confirm arming of the system. Note: Large injections over 20ml or flow rate over 10ml per second will require additional confirmation. Step 3. Injecting. Press and hold the contrast button on the hand controller to vary the injection flow rate. Releasing the contrast button after the desired image is achieved will stop the flow of contrast. There are two methods to fill the syringe, automatic and manual. 
The CVI system will automatically fill the syringe from the contrast container when the amount of contrast left in the syringe is less than the programmed next injection. To stop the system from refilling, press Stop Refill on the control panel or press the contrast button on the hand controller. Press Start Refill on the control panel. The system will continue to refill the syringe until either the syringe is full, stop refill or the contrast button on the hand controller is pressed or the contrast bottle is empty.